Greeky Kingdom Greeky, the lost kingdom of Tibet Himalaya and one of the first important cultural relic site under protections in Tibet. The local region known as Greeky Kingdom started in 10th century by descendant of the Tibet Kingdom and there are so many opinions on how the Greeky Kingdom disappeared in one night. A widely acclaimed view says that 1635 soldiers from Ladakh region finally conquered the Gwiki kingdom and ravaged the palace in the ruins and even every human being here was hunted down in one night. Hello everyone, this is Jung Yang. Good morning to everyone and Tashi Delic from Gwiki Kingdom. So today my main topic is Gwiki Kingdom. But first in the morning, I would like to show you Tuting Monastery that was also a part of Gwiki Kingdom. So Tuting Monastery was founded in the time of 10th century and it is the most important and the first monastery in West Tibet. It will be really interesting to be visited. So Tuting Monastery is a copy of a Samya Monastery, but Samya Monastery is the first monastery in all over Tibet. So Tuting Monastery has been destroyed in a history for many times, but we still can see those ancient stupas and those ancient statues, murals, relics, so many things that you can see in Tuting Monastery. So in a while, I'm going to show you how those statues and how those murals looks like and I wish that you will also enjoy it. So please follow with me. So by this chance, I also would like to tell you how important Tweeting Monastery is for Tibet. So actually, when you are in Tibet, you can feel and experience that Tibetan Buddhism is so strong part of Tibetan culture. And actually, people couldn't live without Buddhism in Tibet. As nowadays, 90% of Tibetan people are believing in Buddhist and practicing it every single day. But all that Buddhism that we are seeing uh, actually restarted again at Tweeting Monastery after the last king of Tibet had destroyed 90% of Tibetan Buddhism. So for Tibetan Buddhist, we can accept this place as the second birthplace of Buddha to reopen all the holy scriptures and shrine his knowledge of Tibetan Buddhism once again forever. See the destroyed part of the stupa and by looking at it I can tell approximately it was like 1000 years old and this stupa was absolutely from the time of Guki Kingdom. So that's all I can show you in Trading Monastery and I hope that you like it. And now I have to drive another 18 kilometers from here to Gwiki Kingdom. Good afternoon guys 
and now I am standing in front of Googie Kingdom. So Googie Kingdom has so many mysterious stories that has been destroyed in one night. People have no idea about how this beautiful kingdom has been destroyed. And as I am a Tibetan guide, whenever I come over here, this beautiful kingdom always gives me some mysterious feeling. And by this chance today, I also would like to show you this lost kingdom of a Tibet. So all this mystery about Gugi Kingdom that was disappeared in one night actually have connected to the history of a Westerner who want to bring Christianity in Tibet. And in some history book, they also says that the Latakis war at the Gugi was actually invited by the king's brother who was a chief monk of Tuding Monastery. And why he had done that is because his brother, the king, who was interested in Christianity and letting them to construct a chapel and also letting them to instruct Christianity in Tibet. So to destroy the Christianity, he had to invite that war and also to kill his brother, who was the king of Gugi Kingdom. And actually there had been frictions between Gugi Kingdom and Ladakh for many years and the invitation was had it in 1630 and a legend has it that the Ladakh army slaughtered most of the people of Gugi Kingdom at that time. Gugi Kingdom were later conquered in 1679 by Lhasa-based Central Tibetan government and there are still so many mysteries about Gugi Kingdom that was disappeared in a day and nobody knows exactly what happened there or why people stopped living there or where they went. Some people say when soldiers arrived to collect tax from Lhasa, they were shocked to find that the entire population of 10,000 people had disappeared. And we believe that the people of Gugi travel deep underground the fortress and Gugi actually have all kinds of tunnels. And we Tibetan people believe if you have followed these tunnels far enough into the earth, you would eventually come to hidden city of Shambhala, which the tunnel actually start from Gugi and end to the backside of holy Mount Kailash, where you can find the hidden city of Shambhala. I'm on the halfway to reach to the top and now we have to pass through the caves. <sighs> and from here you can enjoy all the view down to the valley.
Mein Gott. Finally, I have reached to the top. All are built up by mud and sand, and it's not really fixed. And on the top you can see so many buildings that was already destroyed. But it was still you can see some part that was pretty well preserved. This is used to be like a palace for the kings in the 10th century. And this is the topest part of the Guigi Kingdom. And now I'm going to show you the winter palace for the kings and for the queens. It is really, really steep, but it is perfect for my size. <laughs> And right now I'm looking for the secret way that in the mysteries we also have a saying that it have a secret way while they are having a big war at Guigi Kingdom that was blocked by military down there and the kings they have lived like in this winter palace for a year which is impossible because they don't have and they don't have any water so there must be at one secret way but it is still like mystery. I really haven't found any secret way to get the water. So here I'm at the horse yard of the Greek Kingdom. So you see the size of the door. I'm pretty sure that in the time of 10th century, I'm guessing that people could be my size, you know. Because it's just like okay for me to go cross through these kind of doors. <laughs> we enjoy all the valley of Greek Kingdom. As well as over there, you can go there. So every part over here is awesome for the photographers to take the pictures of the Isn't it awesome? I mean, as a Tibetan guide, I really recommend this place here is one of the places where you can get an original experience of Tibet and can you imagine in such a wild area where it looks only the wild animals can survive also have such a mysterious kingdom that has been hidden in it and hope you enjoyed it and if you like my video please please don't forget to subscribe it and if you have any question please be free to ask because as you know we are the one that can show you original Tibet and tomorrow is another mystery because we are going to drive on the highest highway in the world and can't wait to show you guys Pangung Lakes to discover some paintings that was left by early men in Himalayas 
and that beautiful Ritok fortress and the monastery. Anyway, I'm so excited to show you all those places tomorrow and hope to see all my friend again in my next video. This is Jim Young. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet.